Well, everybody, we are out here in the golf cart. I finally dug it out of the back 40 of the shop. Get her to go. Come on, baby, you know you want to. I think that's a little bit of old fuel in this thing. But, as everybody I'm sure knows at this point, we got the COVID-19 running rampant through the world. And, well, what are we doing about it? Well, pretty much just staying home. That's, that's what I'm doing about it right now. Down here at the shop. So we got the dart sitting here and yeah, things are starting to get messy here again. But yes, I think tomorrow I'm gonna move this car out. We'll bring the Ram back in. I'm feeling good enough, I think, that I can set the lift up again and get the truck up on the lift so we can actually start doing some of the stuff that I had planned before surgery and then start continuing on with the build during this time of just kind of staying home and trying to stay away from crowds of people so we don't get sick. Well, the beauty of being a YouTuber, there is a whole lot that can be done just here normally because that's just how it is. We do everything from home pretty well so I can still upload and I don't have to go to a job like at work or anything like that. So not really gonna affect us all that much other than the fact that I'm not really gonna try to be around people too much. I already got as much supplies as what I needed, I mean, that's one thing that I kind of want to talk about. Like it really annoys me when people actually go to the store and buy like a crazy amount of stuff because they figure, you know, it's the end of the world or there's not going to be food for a while or something like that. That's really not the case. The reason to get food and supplies and whatever is because you don't want to be around people at the store. Like you don't want to have to, you know, a couple times a week have to go to the store. So you buy a little bit extra just to keep you at your house so you don't have to be around people if you are sick and you don't want to be communicating this disease or this virus or whatever to anybody else. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, I mean, I didn't even buy water or anything like that because, well, I really don't think there's gonna be a shortage of water. I mean, that's, people are buying this stuff like it's a natural disaster. Well, it's not, it's not a natural disaster, it's a pandemic. So your water in your house should still work and it's not, you know, it's not gonna be polluted or anything like that. Not to mention, I do have a creek, and I do have ways of purifying that water. So, I mean, that's that's fine. I left all the water for everybody else who figure they need it. So, that being said, uh, also toilet paper. Why, why the toilet paper, people? Come on. I mean, get a, get a little bit extra, but don't buy the whole store. And another thing was, too, like the people that were buying all the hand sanitizer. Like, there was a guy, I think he was in Tennessee or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but apparently he thought this was going to be a time to make money and he knew that you know this was going to come through and people weren't going to be prepared and then he went out and bought as much hand sanitizer as he could he bought like 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer so he could sell it at a massive profit and benefit from this whole thing like really come on guy like that is like one of the worst ways to make money if you think that just taking advantage of the public you know people are trying to keep this from spreading and you're going to use that to get rich Dude, no, like, I, I do not respect that at all. That is like the worst thing you could possibly do is try to benefit from something like this in the world. So drop in the comments, what do you guys, what is your thoughts on this whole thing? I mean, it's something that I don't think any of us really ever expected or ever thought that we were actually gonna have to live through. I mean, the United States is at a state of emergency, all the flights are being canceled, all that craziness. So what are you guys doing to prepare? I mean, like, are you guys going crazy, buying all the guns and ammunition and water and toilet paper and you know, holding up in your fortress, something like that? What are you guys doing to prepare for this whole thing? I mean, for me, like I said, I just got a few things, you know, I got extra groceries, extra things, just so we can stay here for a while, you know, just, you know, my family, whatever, and not have to worry about, you know, having to go to the store. That's really it. I mean, I don't have a stockpile. I've just got enough that, you know, it's gonna get us by. So that's pretty much it. I'm not, not one of the crazy preppers. I'm just trying to stay away from this whole thing and hopefully it blows over rather quickly. But what are you guys doing to prepare? How's this affecting your lives? Is, is your jobs affected or anything like that? You know, definitely drop any of that kind of stuff in the comments section. And yes, we will be getting through this together. It's just one of those things. Sometimes, you know, there's things that happen in the world and we got to deal with it. So all in all, hopefully I can keep you guys somewhat entertained if you guys are at home and just kind of hanging out, you know, staying away from people. 
well, you can watch YouTube and we're gonna have more stuff happening on the Ram Rebel. So I decided to throw out this little short video, just kind of hanging out in the shop here a little bit. Really just kind of decide what to do. I mean, it, we're, yeah, we're, we're here. We're, we're just kind of trying to do what we can in this time of crisis. So hopefully everybody out there is staying safe and staying home and trying not to spread this stuff to anybody else and we can get through it. But we gotta take this seriously. And even if you don't have symptoms, you might still have it. You don't wanna pass it on to your relatives and whoever else. So, I mean, just stay home, try to keep your hands clean and hopefully this thing will blow over soon. But all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are excited for what's coming up here soon because we are gonna bring the RAM in, like I said, and get some of these things installed and kind of take that build to the next level. And it's gonna be a good time for everybody. So, I mean, all in all, let's get through this whole coronavirus thing and we'll just keep on doing car stuff. And yeah, hopefully everything works out well for everybody. So stay safe out there. And as always, keep that hammer down. Mm -hmm.